Hi, my name is Paul. And I just wanted to talk about networking and local transformations. So I'll just start this little game off. And what we'll have appear at the top is a vehicle that moves along the ground. So this is the server. So you see the server here. On the client, you can see that it's kind of a bit jittery. It's sort of moving up and down. And we'll see it again. There's another one coming along here. So you can see it's kind of moving up and down a bit. It's not very nice. Now, the problem is, is that this component, if I open up my scrolling backgrounds here, go to my level designer, and we go to one of these domograms now, which is what that moving vehicle is. And this works because the road is local to the map, and therefore these domograms, their local position is what their transform does. They don't transform in world space, they transform in local space. Now, if we look at the domogram object itself, prefab, the prefab itself is using a network transform, and that's got lots of items about how often it's updated and the minimum distance it sends an update. But ultimately, what it's doing is the server is moving locally, moving object locally, but then it's trying to sync using the world position. And that creates a kind of slightly competing element on the client where it's trying to transform it. And it's got a world position, but it's sort of moving in a local position. It wants to move in a local position and, and that causes that, I believe that causes that weird jittering. So what I've done is I've come in here and I've said, okay, let's have a look at this component. So you edit script and that gives me the network transform. Now I've literally copied and pasted that into another component that I've created called Network Local Transform. And everywhere that I've seen it affect the transformation and the rotation, so in here we can see it's doing all of its validation and its networks and its positioning. So for example, in Network Start, it's initializing it. I've changed from rotation to local rotation I've changed from position to local position and I've done that everywhere and then I've applied that if we apply that back into the script so we turn off network transform and I've added network local transform so let's enable that save this off let's come back out of this save this off go to my build build this So it should just be creating the uh, server and client versions all wrapped up in one single exe. So I run my little test batch file here, which will create both a server and a client examples. So let's just move that one over here and bring the other one up. So player one is the server. Better to use the client. So we're looking again, concentrating on player two here. Is it going to be smoother? So it's coming in here and there's far less, if any, jittering at all. It seems to be just as smooth as the server version, a little bit perhaps on the left. But generally speaking, I think it's it's a huge improvement. So there we have it, a smoother networked object by using local transformation syncing rather than world transformation syncing.